What's up guys? I uh, figured I'd do a quick overview of this new engine. Um, just since I haven't really talked about it too much yet. Uh, so this is a brand new 16 horse Vanguard. We'll get you in here so you can read the air cleaner. The date code puts it at 2007, so I guess it's just been sitting on a shelf for 12 years now. Um, yeah, so let's get into it. Uh, when I got it, it did not have an oil filter plate at all. And this is the one that I picked up off Amazon directly from Briggs. Uh, that's just an oil filter delete kit. So you can see I've got plenty of room in here now um, for the suspension. And then that, uh, that cut in the sheet metal was already there. It just so happened that it fit perfectly with my suspension. Don't mind those welds. I know they're atrocious. It was my first time using my arc welder. And so, uh, yeah, it took a little practicing. Uh, over here, you can see I've got the valve cover from the old engine on it, and that's because it has the fitting for the fuel pump, because this engine originally uh, was set up to not have a fuel pump. And then the uh, valve cover that came on this one had the oil fill cast into it, uh, which I thought was pretty slick. And then it had this automotive style uh, long dipstick tube that would go something up there like that and uh, you know I thought it'd be neat but not terribly practical with the dash being right there and then also having to have the fill type valve cover uh, which would just interfere with the fuel pump and they are asymmetrical so I could not just swap it over to the other side though I think it would be cool to have an oil fill here on this corner and one on the other side um, but maybe I'll get a, a valve cover to do that in the future um, so here you can see the number tag, if it'll focus, you can see the date code 2007, it's a 30 cubic inch, so it's uh, kind of a baby Vanguard, it's the smallest version, uh, the only lower horsepower V-twin is the 14, but it's the same displacement, um, anyway, 16 horsepower should be plenty. Um, for this machine, it's fairly light and um, is not set up for towing anything. It's pretty much just made for hauling ass. Um, in the, the picture right now, it looks a little bit crooked. That's just because I've got this side setting up on the jack to try to uh, get the fender to hold its shape um, up here next to my brace I made uh, versus this one is still sitting down below and has a little bit of a gap. So... Um, I don't really like how these fenders came out. Um, you can just see the way it's angled up so sharp, and then also the way it's angled out because of um, just the shape. I think the biggest part of it is right here, but I don't want to cut into it and do that. I just don't have time for the build off. I don't have any sheet metal to pull from, and um, you know I just don't have the time right now. So I think I'm gonna get another set of stock fenders. I'm gonna leave the, uh, the wider um, side on it. Uh, I'll lower them the same way, and then I'll just cut a slot right up in here and bend it up, um, and then I'll triangulate that, make a little plate to go in there, um, just to hold the shape and the strength. Uh, and then I also will not cut um, this piece off. I will just slot it bend it up straight and that'll come out to about here which will take up a lot of this empty space that's in there i don't really like that um so it will almost close that hole um but yeah again you can see the way i've got the c channel set up to dig my heels in i cannot stress enough how much i really enjoyed having that it has been um you can see the frames all painted uh what i used to paint it the black was just this uh 97 cent uh, is the cheap jammies from Walmart and then the gray um, about the only paint that I found and the color I liked was this rust-oleum um, which is fine this was like four dollars a can um, so it still wasn't too bad it wasn't the most expensive paint um, I would have preferred finding 99 cent paint cans because like Mighty Ray said in my uh, build thread this thing is made to be driven it's not meant to be a showpiece so the paint's gonna chip regardless of what I use um, so finding paint 
cheaper to be able to touch it up is just nice. Um, but yeah, another quick update and uh, a little overview of the engine. Uh, if there's any other questions on it, just let me know. I'll do my best to answer them in the comments. Um, so yeah, take her easy.